This is uh this is something that's been going around. So there are hundreds of these uh it's, makeshift quarantine facilities. You know, that's these, just look at that. It's as far as the eye can see. It's on the highway on the, in uh, Hunan, right? Yeah, they built them. Did they build it? They built it on the highway. Yeah, uh, parallel to one lane that they kept yeah. open. Yeah, and this is just wild. Look mm. at the capacity for this. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you. For those of you who can't see this, um, who are listening, um, these prefabricated um, quarantine facilities, you know, it kind of looks like a shipping container yeah. almost, or yeah. like, you know, and on a construction site, they'll put up a little prefabricated office or whatever where people sit and drink their coffee or whatever, you know, in there, and that type of thing, wear a hard hat. Not here, though, okay? These things stretch as far as the eye can see, all right? So there it goes to the horizon. That's a lot. Tens of thousands of people capacity there, you know, easy. Yeah. Um, hundreds of thousands even. Yeah. You know? So why build so many unless you're planning to fill them up or perhaps they're already all full? Maybe they're going to be put on trucks and shipped <laughs> off. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, but it could be that or it could be that's where they're just going to put people. It's insanity. And this, you know, like you see these little windows. Mm. Uh you can see them. That's where people hold their hands out, like Oliver, are like, please, sir, I want some yeah, more. Yeah. You know, when they have to get their hood, yeah, and then when they have to, they, they have to get their rations, you know, their gruel. I mean, look at it. It goes in both directions, and yeah. it is on the highway. You can see there's the two lanes, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just going to go back a little bit. So we have, uh, am I, okay, we have this crap, okay, going as far as the eye can see to the horizon, and then the camera pans to the left. And you think, oh, look, it's come to an end. <laughs> but no, that's that's not an end, mate. That's an intersection. That's there it continues the on all the way you as far as I can end. see. You can't see the end of it. Like, that's a lot of quarantine facilities. By the way, though, China's yeah. the future. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. This is <laughs> this is, this is is it, what? you know? Like, the the guys that have taken up the positions, and I hate to harp, harp on this so mm. much, but the guys that have taken on the positions of you know, pushing propaganda abroad. Like, yeah. I'm, oh, talking yeah. About, I'm talking about the white guys that work sure. for the Chinese government. The white monkeys. Yeah. I mean, how do you look in the mirror and yeah. like not see a clown makeup? Because yeah. this is, I mean, this is where we're at in China, guys. It pisses me off because you see this slick propaganda coming out of China all the time about look at our green technology initiatives yeah. or look at our infrastructure. But then the reality on the ground is this. Yeah. This horrible, dystopian, oppressive nonsense yeah. where they've got quarantine facilities as far as the eye can see yeah to entrap and ensnare and to imprison the populace yeah it's terrible yeah it's like indiscriminate like you and your child and your mother and your father or whatever you just happen to be in a building or an area where oh there was a case of covid you're going to end up in one of these places and probably separated as well Dustin Pearson said they're doing this to the Han people. Imagine the Uyghurs. Yeah. That's a great segue. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's a great segue, Dustin. Mm. Oh, you're absolutely right. Because when they do this to the Han people, the majority, you know that it's worse for the minorities because they always take less of a precedence. Speak of the devil. Mm. This is uh, a bunch of reports uh, on WeChat uh, slash Weibo about mm. areas of Xinjiang being locked down. Now, Xinjiang's Western China. That's where yep. the Uyghur minorities are, the genocide, you know, that whole, you may have heard whole, of it. whole thing you've heard about. Uh, Xinjiang's basically been in lockdown since August 13th. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking about August, September, October, November. We're in month four. Yeah. Four months Yeah, to, of lockdown. almost to the day. And yeah. Yeah, it's, today's the 11th, right? Yeah. We are not... We are not hearing about that part. And that's because it's, like you said, it's not a tier one city. Mm -hmm. It's also a place that China wants you to forget about. Of course. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> and number two, it's uh, it's not important to Chinese people, yeah. right? Because it's the, it's those Uyghurs. Yeah. It's just those minorities, mm -hmm. right? They don't, they have to go through that. And again, like we said, it's a very ununified country. Yeah. Uh, nobody actually cares about different areas. In yeah. fact, a lot of areas are discriminated against. Yeah. So... And Xinjiang. by everyone, I mean, like, Shanghai people won't care about Beijing people. Beijing Correct. people don't care right. about Shanghai. To Correct. use the two biggest examples. Yes. But that goes down to a, a tiny level Oh, as down well. to town. Yeah, like, this little town doesn't care about yeah. that town. I hate this town because yeah. they do this. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. it's not like sports rivalries. It's actual, like, discrimination. But yeah. the, um, yeah, Xinjiang. I mean, mm. we're looking at four months now 
And you have to understand, I, I use Xinjiang as a great, as a great example, because there's whole areas of China that you're just not hearing about. And yeah. when I say lockdown, I'm not talking about, hey, you can't go to a restaurant. I'm talking about you can't leave your house. Yes. And it gets even worse. Go to the next slide. Okay, let's do it. This is in uh, Qinghai. Mm -hmm. In Qinghai province is next to Tibet. Uh, yeah. It's, it's actually mostly full of Tibetans. Um, well, I mean, a good chunk of it is. Uh, in Qinghai here, in Xining City, this is the capital of Qinghai, right? Mm -hmm. These people have been locked down in this wet market for over 40 days in a wet market. Not Whoa. in a district, in a wet market. And it's cold, by the way. No it's shit. Free. It's Tibet. Yeah, yeah. Basically Tibet. Every day they need to go to line up, take a COVID test twice while authorities spray toxic chemicals at their bodies like their bugs. And I saw footage. Yeah. These guys are walking around spraying the people in the wet market. They're spraying the people. Imagine being locked down in a wet market. Yeah. It's like those, those are like some of the worst places to be in China. Oh, yeah. Market. It's the it's smells like, yeah, and the dead flesh. There's just, it's awful. To be fair, there's probably not a whole lot of sales going on down there. Sure. But it's now. called a wet market for a reason. The floors are all like full of water and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Must be a terrible place to be locked down. Mm. Yeah. For 40 days. Yeah. You know, that's just ridiculous. Mm. Let's move on, shall we? Poor guys. I feel a lot of compassion for them. I do. Yeah. <laughs>